Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model organic shape like this using subject tools in Rhino. So without further ado, let's start. So we're going to start by going to the top view, so double click here to maximize the top view. And let's open the grid and let's go to the standard and choose three point rectangle. Let's draw the first point here. Now let's uh, we can close also uh, close the grid snap now and press F8 to open the also. And let's set the length of the facade maybe 10 meter and maybe the height 12 meter or maybe 13 and then click now let's choose a curve set it, set it as default degree to 3 and let's draw a few curves let's close the smart track and close also and start drawing maybe some kind of curve here right click right click to bring the command again make another some kind of a gate here we can start adjusting the points a little bit now let's create an opening here another one maybe here let's draw another one maybe here start adjusting the control point a little bit and make another point here another opening here and another one here and another small one here and now let's start refining the shapes a little bit until we get what we want <coughs> and when we are finally done i will select everything and let's hold alt and move using the combo to create a copy and press trim let's trim these edges now we want to create a surface from this curve so i'm going to select all these curves and choose surface from planet curves and here we go we have this nerve surface let's double click to minimize the view and double click to maximize the respective view so so now i want to convert this nerve surface into a sub d but there is no such command so what we have to do is to convert it first into a mesh so let's convert it to mesh from here mesh from a nerve object and let's adjust the setting to be like this. Set the, the minimum edge length to one to ten thousand and the maximum edge length to ten thousand to give us uh, the minimum amount of uh, polygons. So let's set preview. So these uh, polygons are not too much, so we can uh, work with it. However, if you use this like the default setting, it will give you a lot of this uh, type of uh, very small edges and polygons and this is not something that we can work with when we uh, convert into sub d so let's stack, stack to the, this setting and it's okay now let's move this mesh away uh, now this mesh is all made of triangles and this is not the best thing to work with when using sub d it's better if it was made of quads so now i'm gonna i'm going to delete some edges so hold ctrl shift and maybe delete this one this one this one select them and press delete Hold Control Shift and maybe delete this one, this one, this one, maybe this one, this one, this one. Press Delete and delete this one too. Lift, hold Control Shift, delete this one. Hold Control Shift, delete this one, this one, this one, this one, and delete. Okay, there is still a uh, let's delete this one too. There is still a lot of uh, adjustment that's required but i think this is good enough to start with so i'm going to the sub d tools and choose convert to sub d and then right click here we have this our sub d let's move it away let's press tab to switch to the flat mode the first thing i'm going to do is hold ctrl shift select all these uh, vertices and in the sub d let's uh, press right click here to convert them into hard crease now let's keep adding a few more points to refine the shape. So select this tool and let's add maybe edges here and delete this. Select it again, insert point and add on here. Right click, right click to bring the command again, select the object and add here. Let's delete this. Delete this. Hmm. Delete this one. So if we will delete this one, we will have to add some kind of a loop here maybe. 
and I'll, let's add another edge here it's this one this one and this one too let's add another one here I'll control shift and do this and let's add another one here and another one here and delete this edge do this do this one should leave this one we did this one too but it's not quite so we have to add maybe another edge here or an edge like this we can start adjusting the opening shape for this, for this one i don't i don't want it to have just the two edges so I, I want to add another edge here so i'm going to add maybe something like this this one and with this one hold control shift and move this a little bit like this i think this looks better and for this one i think this one to need maybe another edge here to this one this one uh, this one is not quite so i have to add another edge here and for this one, maybe adding an edge here, and then let's leave this one, this one, this one, and this one here too. Let's leave this one and this one. Now this has more than four edges, so it needs adjustment too. Maybe something like this. Split these edges, all these edges, and here too. Let's add maybe here to this one and delete this this one too. Okay, we have a problem here. Let's delete this one for now. And then another edge. So most of the faces are quads now, so I think this is um, way more bet better to polish to work with. I will start making a few more adjustments to the shapes. Let's press tab to switch to the flat mode and start refining the shape a little bit. Um, there are a few uh, triangles that we can eliminate easily, so let's uh, hold on. Let's come here and choose a point. Let's add a point here and leave this edge. Right click to bring the command again, add another one here and leave this one. So we eliminate these two triangles and hold Ctrl Shift and leave this one. And now let's switch to the smooth mode and maybe do uh, start doing a few more adjustments. And when you are done, we can start adding more details. So I will just create a copy. So hold uh, hold Alt and move using the gamble. We can hold uh, hold Control Shift and double click to select this whole loop. And hold Control Shift and start scaling to add an edge like this. And then we can extrude to the inside or or the outside. But I'm gonna keep it to the inside and you can hold shift and start scaling this to scale it uniformly we have this kind of uh, organic opening so i'm going to repeat this process to the remaining opening so hold ctrl shift double click hold ctrl shift again and scale using the gamble and then extrude then hold shift and scale again shift is a loop And for this one, hold Ctrl Shift, select this one, this one, and this one. If we, if we came here and hold Ctrl Shift and double click, it's gonna select all this loop, but it's not what we want. So hold Ctrl Shift, select this one, this one, and this one. And let's open a smart uh, track, double click to move the gamble. Let's move it here and snap it a little bit. Let's come here in the middle and hold Ctrl Shift and scale. Then extrude. And then scale again. And double click here and double click here. And let's remove the hard crease here. Make it as smooth. Let's do the same thing for this one. Double click here. Hold Ctrl Shift and select this one and this one. And then double click like this. Double click to move the gamble. Let's open the smart track and snap here. Something like this. And hold Ctrl Shift. Add an edge. And let's extrude like this. And scale it a little bit. Let's double click to select this one and this one. And remove the hard crease. 
So now, as you can see, we have this kind of organic facade, and we can, of course, keep refining it and adjusting it. This why sub is amazing. And we can even create more complicated shapes using the same method. So I'm going, I'm going to copy this one, so hold Alt and move it away. And let's isolate it. So let's go to the visibility and isolate. I'm going to the sub D and choose cage edit, or you can like, find it in the transform. Choose box, C plane, and set the X and Y and Z count to four as it is as the default, and then right click, right click again. And now we can start changing the shape and make it even something way more complicated, something like this. And we can start scaling it from here to have a different height. So double click to move the gumball. Let's move it down here, and let's scale this down a little bit. Select all this point, double click to move the gumball, move it down like this and start scaling this a little bit. And for this part, we can maybe scaling it something like this. So as you can see, we generated a very complex facade in literally no time. We can even we can even start making some kind of variations like this, scaling it from here, or maybe from here, something like this. No, I don't like this part. And yeah, this looks so cool. Maybe scaling it this more a little bit, something like this. And and when when you are done adjusting it using the cage edit, we can start adding more detail to the sub D. But of course, it's going to break the cage edit, so make sure that you finished all your adjustment. Or you can create a copy. By the way, we can maybe create a copy like this. And here we can maybe. Select this loop and scaling it a little bit. Scale this edge, something maybe like this. And then let's select this part and let's extrude it to have more complex shapes. And for these edges, maybe giving it some kind of soft decrease, maybe 50% to have this kind of uh, organic shape in some, in some parts of the design. Let's maybe repeat it here and let's set it to align to object and extrude it and maybe select this loop or control Z. Let's select this edge, let's scale it down a little bit and now select this part and extrude it. Maybe something like this, maybe this opening too. But for this one, I'm going to set it to C plane and let's move it using this and then hold, hold control. Have something like this. I'm going to delete this edge, this face and this face, press delete. And for this one, this whole part, I think need to be scale. To scale it, let's open the smart track and let's move the gumball. Let's move it something maybe here and scale it. Some more thickness, let's convert this into soft decrease, maybe 20% would be enough. Yeah, 20% looks good, cool. This one, I think I'm gonna make this one to soft decrease with 20%, just 20%. One, two, three, start 20, enter. And finally, if we want to uh, convert this into a closed uh, bolt surface or closed uh, sub D, we can maybe create a copy like this and type mirror. But first, uh, I think uh, this, if you open it to go a little bit, type mirror, uh, set copy to yes, and open, press if it opens also, and create maybe a copy here. But I don't want it to be symmetrical, so I, I think I'm going to scale it by uh, negative one. And uh, I think I will uh, try to add few variations. So I think I will apply cage edit to it again. But uh, first, let's uh, isolate everything. Select this object and let's go to sub D, choose cage edit, bounding box, C plane, and right click, right click again to open the control point. So to make it more dynamic, I think I might move this a little bit outside, move this up a little bit. Maybe moving these two points. All chips to select multiple at the same time, and maybe moving this up a little bit, maybe moving this part something like this to have some kind of more dynamic. 
more dynamic form. And when we, are, we are, when we finish, we can select this edge, hold Control Shift and select this edge. Then here, hold Control Shift and this one, hold Control Shift and this one, and hold Control Shift and double click here to select the whole loop. And same thing here, double click to select the whole loop, and choose Bridge to connect both of them together. We can add more segments here. I'm not adding segments at all. Maybe adding one in the middle. And press OK. Let's delete this sketch edit. And for this, for this opening, if we want to make it planar, we can hold Control Shift, select this one, and come here to choose a line and choose to fit plane because uh, it makes sense uh, for it to be planar to be uh, easier in construction. Let's do the same for all this object. I will click Set to Fit Plane Planner, and let's do it to the to all the remaining object. Hold Control Shift, select the whole loop, Fit Plane, Fit Plane. Again, hold Ctrl Shift, select this one. So now, we, if we came here and choose, select the loop and choose surface from planner curves, we we can create a surface here. <laughs> so let's do this for the remaining openings. And let's do this for this one too. Align to fit plane. This one too. Align to fit plane. For this one, we will need to draw a line here. And this one too. Click this edge, this edge, and then click this one. There we go. We have such complex mess. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.